I, I'm very, I'm very locally based, so I don't, I don't have a picture at all of the national scene. Um, but here in Oxfordshire, I think you know, I'm, I'm aware that we've got, we've got an urban environment here, but we, we're also doing quite well out in the sticks, I guess, um, which is quite interesting. And I suspect that the agendas there are rather different. I mean, Caroline, you've kind of focused a little bit by, by sort of referring to poverty and issues like that, um, but also dropping hints about the countryside and, and that sort of thing. I'm a little bit confused myself about um, how, how the Green Party nationally plays this, um, because Greens can position themselves in a number of places. Uh, front of the few others that talked about you know, claiming a position on the left, which is where I instinctively would be, but I don't know how well that would play in Whitney, for instance. So I'm just curious as to what your take is on, the, um, on, on um, where the party is placed there, and therefore the strategy that kind of results from that. Because obviously, you know, there's been a, there was a big kickback from the Countryside Alliance and all that about anything that was perceived as left, I think. You know, it just doesn't get the country, they said. Um, and yet, <laughs> so I'm not, it's, it's, a, it's a diffuse question, but I'm, I, I just like your perception of Parkwood and Vinos, because as you share that perception, you'll learn a bit about your take on things. Yeah, it's, it's a challenge that, um, that we face uh, where I am. Um, I'm, a, I'm chair of Nottingham Green Party, and uh, we cover um, Nottingham City, obviously the big urban area, um, but we also cover two rural areas as well, the constituency of Gedling and Brushworth, where, where, I, uh, where I am. And uh, it's, it's Kent Clark's constituency, absolutely solid, true blue, um, and it is quite difficult um, getting your message across um, in the rural areas. I have to say, it, it doesn't just apply to, um, to us, it applies to others as well, in the places where the Tories are re-elected and opposed in the parts of Russia. Um, I think there's a number of issues that we, that we really have strengths on to campaign uh, in more rural issues. What, uh, one, of, one of them is, is certainly housing, the lack of affordable housing. Um, people are really concerned in many, many villages about, the, uh, about people sort of going out, not coming back, population decreasing, uh, kids being able to afford to, to stay in the area. There's, uh, there's one large village, a place called uh, Keyworth, and its population is, is gradually declining. Um, they're trying to get some more development in the area, and there um, the, um, the borough council has worked quite well with local people to develop a local plan. And I think one of the things that you have to do is, is get out and talk to people and look at them um, and the kind of things that they are interested in through parish plans. Um, because the other thing there is this housing. There is the environmental issue because you get concerns about development on, on Greenbelt. Because Greenbelt tends to be seen as completely sacrosanct. But if you do have villages, places um, where, where the population is falling, then you have to make rural exceptions. You do have to make exceptions from time to time. Otherwise, some of these places will just die on the fee. Um, and the other thing is local jobs, because you get an awful lot of people who just leave because there aren't the jobs there. And I think you do have to say, okay, well, this is a, this is a, a prospect for looking at some real localism in the economy, about uh, developing um, uh, gra uh, jobs, on, uh, grassroots jobs, um, local uh, community uh, shops, those kind of things. Anything to help build and grow those local communities. And I think, I think we have a kind of a natural home there on that kind of ag global thing, local uh, stage. Yeah, um, well I took our first ever Tory seat in Hove, um, so I'm with you on getting as many Tory seats as we possibly can. Um, but I do think that our strategy generally in order to do that has been by challenging Labour from the left. But I also think that on a lot of issues we, um, we take votes from all parties. And, and that's what we've proven in Brighton and Hope, for example, where I ran the local election campaigns there. Um, I think that you're right in that we need a different strategy when it comes to rural areas. Recently there was a by-election in West Morling and I helped out there, where they got 43 votes after having dropped leaflets, canvassed, and they had a really, really good candidate. Um, and I think it's quite difficult sometimes to sell our policies on, for example, transportation. Um, in rural areas when there aren't those links there for people and it's privatised and you know so there are these blocks um, 
in front of us. Um, but in a place in, called Forest Row in East Sussex, they had two green councillors until recently when they stood down and couldn't find anyone else to stand. Um, but they did really, really well because they had hyper-local campaigns. And that's what I've learned from both the general election, which I coordinated in Brighton Pavilion, and the local elections, which I coordinated across the city when we went from 13 councillors to 23 councillors. So although I agree with you that we do need a different strategy and we do need different methods in, in selling our, our messages and policies, if you like, um, I also think that this hyper-local campaigning is what works. Um, it's about embedding ourselves in our local communities, um, whether that be local action teams or residents associations or churches, mosques, synagogues. And, and that's the way I think that we will engage with communities, really understand the problems that they face, then our support, they become supporters. We hope that our supporters are then encouraged to become activists. Our activists then are invited to become members. And then those members put themselves forward as elected representatives. And they're the new blood of our party. Because in Forest Road, for example, where we did have two Greens, I think it's a real shame that we weren't able to find anyone else to fight those seats. And I know that that's a pattern across the country, in both cities and in rural areas. But if we don't ask people to join the party, we're never going to grow our membership. And I'm quite embarrassed sometimes to say the figure that is our membership because it really should be double, if not triple that. And that's what I want to bring to this role as deputy leader. So firstly, um, I do believe that the Green Party is a party of the left because I do believe that you can't have environmental justice without social justice and that's the sort of key thing for me. But I think we need to be much better at actually making that link and having a new kind of politics. And that's why I think my background and having a lot of policy experience combined with campaigning is really important. Um, you can't write agriculture, food and countryside policy living in London as I do without building a really amazing team of people without, around you talking to people who are you know, farmers living in the countryside, talking about the issues that they're facing. And you know, we had a great team and I learned a lot. So I know that we have messages um, to put out there, really positive messages. And actually I've just spent a really exciting couple of days down in the southwest where I was visiting farms. I was talking to local parties about the sort of campaigns that they can do around local food and it was really exciting because we do have a lot to say. You know, the localisation of our food, talking about the jobs that that will create, talking about how it actually preserves our environment, talking about the kind of social justice to do with local shops versus supermarkets, is actually very exciting and I think that we can make this link and that's something that I would see as really key in the role, is going to local parties, finding out what the situation is for them, finding out how we can use our really excellent policy to help them do campaigns, inspire people, get people to join, build the party, but actually also to make their local areas a better place, because that's what it's really all about.